Before we knew it, we had left a thing open. They were all around the garden. Do you want to know how a young me caused a bug infestation? And I'm not talking about the fruit flies that are swarming here right now because I let yet another fruit mold. This is a story of the bug infestation. I was around 11 years old and I would often play outside with one of my best friends, Yuri. At the time, my mom had gifted me this little toy terrarium. It was basically like a breathable metal capsule with some plastic bits on there with happy faces and everything like that. You could open it up, get like some insects or something in there, you could study them, and then you set them free. That was the whole thing. So I showed my friend Yuri, and we were playing outside, when I suddenly had the amazing idea. Why don't we capture some insects for the terrarium and keep them as our pets? Fun fact, I really like to look at insects, study them, they look amazing. Don't want them to touch me. So he was gonna pick them up, put them in there, and we would have like this little terrarium filled with ladybugs, grasshoppers, beetles, things that I can't even classify. And every day they would sleep over over at one of our houses. One night they'd be in my house, the other night they'd be in his house because we lived one street away from each other. The thing is, at some point we became very obsessed. Oh. Ow. obsessed with developing our terrarium. So every day when we were playing outside, we would see something cool, we like, we can add that to the terrarium. Other color ladybug, we could add that to the terrarium. Cool looking whatever, let's add it to the terrarium. So and of course, because they are living insects, we had to clean the thing every few days. So in the beginning, what we would do, we would take them out, put them in like jars for a second, clean out the whole thing, get them some extra food, fresh leaves or whatever, put them back in. But since we were developing the whole thing and getting more and more and more insects in there, Cleaning the whole thing was getting a little more tricky. So at some point, after a few days of scavenging and making like a ton of new finds in that thing, we went over to Jury's house, because his house was on floor level, so he had a garden. The perfect place to clean the terrarium. We take it over into the backyard, it's sunny, it's summer. One of my other best friends and his stepsister, Luz, was there too, and his dad and her mom. We came in there, we put it down on the table, and we're like, we're gonna clean our terrarium. Can we have some cups, some, some jars, and we put everything there. So we opened it up and slowly, you know, we, he, like I was just standing there like, I'm not touching any of those. We'd take them out, put them under a cup, so like that, you know, very easily. Until we realized just how many were in there. For a brief second, we opened up the thing for too long. A grasshopper sprung out and a cricket sprung out. A couple of things flew out of there and before we knew it, countless and countless of insects were swarming around the garden. Because it's not like they immediately left, they just crawled over the table, they jumped, they hopped, they flew. Louis being very scared of them was screaming as grasshopper flew with their little wing thingies or heard those crickets across the garden her mom was just like okay you know what I'm not standing around this I believe she went inside Yuri was trying to capture them I was running around screaming and Yuri's father for some reason was sitting in the lawn chair going like how interesting I mean, it must have been, but it's an interesting way of responding to the situation. Before we knew it, we had left a thing open. They were all around the garden. Like, it wasn't hundreds and hundreds of insects or something, but when they're all quickly moving in a smaller space, you're gonna notice that, you know? In, like, cartoons when someone's being attacked by bees and it's like, like a swarm around their head. That was basically how it felt at the moment. You, whatever, wherever you look, they didn't make that sound, but it would have added something cool to it. I think we caught about two or three things, and Yuri's father caught another one of the, what do you call it, uh, grasshopper. It has a little, it has hopper in it. It's a literal description of what it is. How did that come? Doesn't matter. In the end, we all ran inside. We had like a couple of things more left in the terrarium when we were looking, we were like, oh, because all of our precious insects were gone because we love them, they look so cool. We look outside, we just see like the last couple of them jumping off, flying off, and we're just like, let's just set the rest free too. So we released them and we were like, okay, you know what? We're not gonna make a terrarium anymore! We took the empty terrarium toy thing. It had a handle, by the way, that's what I'm mimicking. Back over to my house, we put it there, we were like, was fun while it lasted. Also, speaking of bug infestations, this place, currently where I live now, is so incredibly humid that those little silverfish insects are here. As a matter of fact, in one of my first weeks here, I woke up from my bed, walked over to the bathroom, did ha, huh, and one fell out of my hair. I was looking at it, I was like, oh, ha, ha. So I just went like, oh, no, 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 it was no more. I Google silverfish on your head. Apparently silverfish like to eat dandruff, which taught me two things. Apparently I have dandruff, and what the heck? Also, I live in like a 
dorm apartment studio apartment thing. I'm so scared one of the people that run this place is gonna see this video and gonna see the title and, and, and he's gonna think that I just ruined this whole place. I should share it on their Facebook page. I would love to know down below in the comments, have you ever cost something like this? And if you want two company videos every week right to your subscription box, you can of course subscribe to this channel. I post a video every Wednesday and Saturday and I do all of that because I want to light up your day and make you smile because I believe smiling and laughter and positivity improves your life. But above all, I really hope you just enjoyed this video and I would love to see you next time.